Hi everyone, Jen here from Jenny and Teddy. So today we are going to make the lemonade kimono cardigan. While you were here, I would love you to get a free writing pattern on my blog with a step-by-step -step photo tutorial to follow along with the video. And um, the basic construction of the kimono cardigan is made from just two rectangle and then we fold them up in half and then we sew in the middle part to create the back panel after that we are going to create the armhole by sewing on the side after we finish this we will make the um, ripping band separate and then we will join the ripping band I mean the attach the ripping band to the cardigan that's all we done I hope you go enjoy the tutorial so what you need to make the lemonade kimono cardigan is a stitch marker yarn needle a pair of scissors measuring tape and the yarn I use is a uh, cotton DK weight yarn and the crochet hook side we will use a uh, two size the one is a uh, six millimeters crochet hook is for the cardigan body and for the ripping band we will use some um, four millimeters crochet hook so let's get started um, pick up your crochet hook size 6 mm crochet hook and uh, yarn in this example we will make for the small to medium size we will start with the foundation chain of multiple of two or in even number. So the foundation chain we will start with the chain 44. So start with a slip knot with a 6 mm crochet hook and then chain 44 chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I will go off the camera and meet you when I have um, 44 chain. Now I finished the uh, 44 chain already and I will measure up my chain. Uh, it's about 13 inch. Um, if you have 12 in that will be um, if you have 12 inch that will be fine too because it's um this is for size small to medium it will be okay sometimes if your tension of the stitch is uh, tight you you might get 12 inch but this time i not too tight so i get 13 inch minus um one inch will be okay so we will start with the uh, row one of the kimono cardigan by On row 1, we will make single crochet in each chain across until the end of the row. So make a um, single crochet in each chain across, one single crochet. one single crochet 
one single crochet one single crochet in each chain across until the end of the row I will meet you at the end of row 1 here um, now I am at the end of row 1 that we just make single crochet in each chain across already at the end we will chain 1 turn your work and we will start on row 2 on row 2 in the first stitch we make half double crochet stitch first stitch we make half double crochet stitch in the next stitch we make slip stitch slip stitch so, so we will keep repeating this by in the first stitch we make half double crochet just wrap the yarn one time insert your crochet hook Pull the loop, grab the yarn, pull to three loop, and then on the next stitch we make slip stitch. So on the first stitch we make half double crochet stitch. I just um, keep repeating this slowly. On the next stitch, we make slip stitch. So we will keep repeating this by on the first stitch here, we make half double crochet stitch. Have three loop on your hook. Grab a yarn, pull two, three loop. Yeah, our half double crochet. So on the next stitch, we make slip stitch. Just put the hook to the loop. Grab a yarn, go to just one loop. So it's slip stitch. The pattern started coming along. So we will keep repeating this. By in the first stitch, we make half double crochet. In the next stitch, we make slip stitch until the end of row 2. I will meet you at the end of row 2. So I am at the end of row 2 that we just made. In the first stitch, we make half double crochet. In the next stitch, we make slip stitch. At the end, we will chain 1 and turn your work. On row 3 and more, we will repeat um, row 2 by in the first stitch, we make half double crochet. And in the next stitch, we make um, slip stitch. So on row 3 and more row we will make um, we will repeat row 2 but in the first stitch we make half double crochet in the next stitch we make slip stitch we will keep going until we have um, repeat row 2 row after row until we have um, about 40 inch long this way if you want the kimono cardigan to be longer you just keep making maybe maybe 44 inch or um, or um 50 inch if you like but if you want to make the kimono cardigan to be larger size just add more chain to the foundation chain in the set of two in the multiple number of two like um for this size um 44 chain for size small to medium 
if you want to make it larger size maybe you make um 52 in any number that is bigger than 44 in the set of two 52 54 60 chain something like that so i will go off the camera and repeat row two and meet you when i got 40 inch long this way hi hi i'm back and now i have a repeat row two of the cardigan and then i finish about 40 inch long for the first rectangle so we will repeat the same for the second rectangle here and i will go off the camera and make the second rectangle and we will ready to assemble together um so now i finished um two rectangle already and don't worry about it if um it look not pretty because oh uh, and uh the adding not stretch that will be fine no worry about it because i didn't use the stitch marker at the end of the row each row so my adding will not be so neat that will be fine because when we um assemble and make it it will look good <laughs> Or we can um, yes so we will um, fold them in half and um, fold them in half Use the stitch marker to press. We will create the back panel by sewing along in the middle part here from here to here and we use stitch marker. So here use the yarn needle to so in the middle, just let's just do the quick one to show you. Um, now we finished create the back panel already and we are going to make the armhole for the armhole um, for my size it's about um, maybe um, 8 inch put your um, stitch marker here clip at the 8 inch and use the yarn needle to sew along here this part we're not sewing this is the armhole and we will sew in here and repeat on the other side after this we will create a ripping band to attach to the open of the cardigan together
Um, now we are going to making the ripping band to attach to the opening of the cardigan. By we will start by pick up your four millimeter crochet hook. And then we will start with a slip knot and then chain 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 After we have the 11 chain, um, the ripping band can be uh, customized if you want the ripping, ripping band to be thicker. You can add more chain to the foundation chain, maybe 20 chain, 30 chain if you like. But for me, I use, I have about 11 chain and then on row 1 of the ripping band, we will make double crochet in each chain across so we make one double crochet in each chain across until the end of the row just keep making one double crochet and one double crochet one double crochet and one double crochet in each chain across at the end you will have a total of the stitch count of 10 stitch so we nearly there. So keep making one double crochet in each chain across. So at the end we have 10 stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then on row 2 of the ripping band we will at the end we chain 2 turn your work and on row 2 we will make um, one double crochet in each stitch but in back loop only this one front loop this one back loop so we can create a ripping band by making the one double crochet in back loop only so the next one we make in the back loop this one front loop this one back loop go into the back loop only and then we will keep going making one double crochet in back loop front this one back go in the back loop and we will keep going until the end of the row by making one double crochet in back loop at the end we will have the total of the stitch count of 10 stitch and we are at the end now at the end we will chain 2 turn your work and you can see the ripping band start to coming along and we will keep continue repeating row 2 of one double crochet in back loop only row after row until the length of the ripping band that 
match the length of the opening of the cardigan and I will show you the picture and I will go off the camera repeat row 2 and we will meet you there hi and now I finished the repeat row 2 of the ripping band that we just made the one double crochet in back loop only the length of the ripping band will be matching of the opening of the cardigan here so I will show you the length um, from here and then we will The length will be matching with the opening of the kimono cardigan here. So now we are ready to attach the ripping band to the opening of the cardigan. Um, now we are going to attach the ripping band to the cardigan, the opening of the cardigan. So I use a 4 mm crochet hook and the yarn. I will attach them with a single crochet. Just make single crochet put in from the ripping band to the body of the cardigan. Just make single crochet in each space. So we will keep going until the end of the cardigan here. And that's all we done. I hope you go enjoy the tutorial and thank you so much for watching. If you make one, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creation. Bye!